Hi, I'm going to share a story about the day I came face to face with Jesus. Now, I had had a healing, mm, not a gift, but I had been operating in healing. I prayed for many people and God had healed them. So one day when I got sick, I thought that it would be a no-brainer. God would just heal me quickly and I'd be fine. But there was something that was blocking my healing. And let me tell you about it. So I was diagnosed with a number of things that were wrong with my heart. I had fluid around my heart. I had two valves that were leaking and blood was going the wrong direction. Um, you know, blood was leaking back in the wrong direction. And I was pretty upset about that, as you can imagine. I had had some sleepless nights and I was really just so mortified by it you know because this was not a toenail it was the heart <laughs> so that was pretty serious and I was not pleased about it so I went along and the doctor kept giving me tests and she had no idea why these things were wrong with me and so she had no treatment for me none she said we'll just have to watch it and do some tests and every time I went back new tests and every time I went back there were negative and more tests and so what I did, I, I said, okay, well, prayer works. I'm going to ask everyone I know, all the prayer warriors out there to pray, all the intercessors and everybody to pray on my behalf. And they did. And guess what happened? Nothing happened. Why? There was something blocking my healing. But well, we'll get to that later. So, you know, nothing was happening. And I decided that I was gonna just come face to face with God for myself. I mean, I tried taking every supplement that's good for the heart, changing my diet and all of these things and nothing worked. So it seemed like there was something blocking my healing. And I said, okay, what what is this? I need to maybe go face to face with God and find out what it is. And so I did just that. I went before God, I went on my knees before God and I said, Lord, here I am. I have done everything I know to do and I am not being healed. So I need you to show me what am I doing wrong? What am I not doing? What am I missing? What is it that is blocking my healing? And what happened was I saw a vision just in my mind's eye of a heart that was floating around and it was just rotating and I was able to see that it had a lot of black and blue and torn and beaten places I mean it looked like a truck ran over it <laughs> you know it was just it was just scary to see and I, I knew that it was my heart and so I asked the question why does it look like that and then I heard the words what have you been through lately and I thought to myself, I was about to tell God, well, you know, I haven't been through it. I'm fine. The same way we always say we're fine. And so I'm good. You know, I'm blessed. I'm, I was about to tell him that when I realized I was, wait a minute, I'm talking to God. And I can't tell God foolishness. I can't tell God I'm fine if I need to see if I'm really fine. And then I thought, no, I've been through a lot of stuff about a year prior to that time. And I was thinking about what is it I've been through? What have I been through? And the truth is I've been through a very hard time. My, uh, a very, a sibling died and it set up a whole lot of upheaval in my family that um, caused a rift in the family and ended up with people accusing me and blaming me for stuff and it was just, and, and I, I was just like, how does this even happen? How do I end up getting blamed for this? You know, so I mean, it was a really unfair situation. And I was really hurt, really angry, bitter. And I chose to just file those emotions, take them and put them on the back burner. I don't have time for them. I'm going to go on with my life and just do me. And they can stay over there and I'm going to stay over here and I'm going to be fine right just just move right along and I continued and I was at work and then the room started to spin anyway I'm not going to go through all of the symptoms that led me to find that out but suffice it to say that my heart was rotating here I saw it was beaten and I had to think about what I've been through and I realized there were lots of emotions that were stuck in me that had not been dealt with and so it's like I got a download 
I started to get a download of what to do. And so what I did was write letters because I realized I had to get all that negative emotion out of my body, out of my soul. And so I wrote, dear so-and-so, what you did really hurt me. I was so angry, so disappointed in you. And I wrote out all the negative emotions. I wrote them all out. How could you have done this? Everything that was in my soul, I wrote it out. And at the end of the letter, I said, nevertheless, I choose to forgive you completely. You are off the hook. I release a blessing to you now in every area of your life. You are free and I am free. So I ended the letter with closure. After that, I pushed that one aside and went on to the, the next one. And I wrote them all out. And at the end of every one, I put, nevertheless, I choose to bless you and forgive you. And I bless you in every area of your life. You are free and I am free. Now, where that's coming from, I don't even know. But that's what I did. You know, That's what I was led to do and that's what I did. So um, after I wrote the letters, I decided to just, you know, just have a lie down. And as I was lying down, I found my, it must have been my soul, lifting up because I had kind of like an out of body experience where I felt myself being elevated about six feet into the air and up to close to where the ceiling was is in my estimation. I don't know, but just up, you know, close to the ceiling. And as I looked in front of me, I saw the most radiant image. I will never forget it as long as I live. I saw an image of a robed figure. There was so much brilliant, so much bright light coming from him. And I saw his left hand pull his robe up aside and I saw this heart. And in the heart, it was very strange for me to see it like this, but there was a um, crown of thorns around the top of that heart. I saw the most amazing streams of light. Now, you know when you see a cloud and the sun's rays are coming behind the cloud. It's just amazing to see. But I saw rays of light coming from his, his heart, his body. And they were streaming towards me. You know, just streaming out from his body towards me. And my body was kind of in it, engulfed in it. It was, the, the light was around me. And there were different colors coming from different beams and the beams of light were dynamic they were flipping around each other kind of like the psychedelic look of a of a like an old time discotheque or you know the clubs how the lights move but these beams were all coming from one point and they were radiating they were just flipping around very dynamic and very beautiful and as the beams were there and I stood in just a wash in this light, these beams of light, I saw the heart moving towards me. I literally did not even look at his face because my eyes were drawn to the heart and the heart started to move towards me. Now in my overthinking mind, I started thinking, oh my goodness, I have a heart like Jesus. I'm going to get a heart like Jesus or is this a heart, a heart for of, to love who he loves? And what is this? And I, I started to overthink the whole thing, not realizing that I was getting a new heart. Anyway, so as the heart started to come towards me, I was amazed, marveled, excited. And to be honest, something happened. I'm just gonna give you the story the way it really happened. My husband did something in the room that made a noise and everything left. I got totally distracted from the vision. I was back in the bed and it was all gone. It was all gone. So I said, God, no, 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 Jesus. No, I must have the end of that vision. If you were gonna say something, I want to hear it. If you were gonna do something, I want to see it. You must take me back to that place. And so sure enough, in church about 
couple days after that there was a worship it was rich and real and wonderful and i saw i i was face to face before him again and i saw just the last part of it where the heart came towards me and and to me and that was it it just fizzled and i thought wow okay so i have a heart for jesus i have a heart and i'm still back in that overthinking place you know until i go back to the cardiologist i went back to the cardiologist there was one more thing i did i think maybe i'll just not leave this one out um i decided no I'll, i'll share that one in a different story but the next time i went to the cardiologist they did the same echocardiogram you know put my heart on a monitor so i was able to to see it and she said look at this there is nothing there your heart is perfectly fine there is no fluid around this heart that is outside of what should normally be there every valve in your heart is functioning properly no the truth is i have been born with a, a leaky valve in my teen years i had a leaky valve and that was not the valve that was damaged in the recent times and so you know it's very odd these are not the two valves that valve that was damaged it was none of the two valves that were damaged in this heart episode and so this time when she checked it not even the the issue that i was born with was there every thing everything in my heart was perfectly healed 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 so i want you to understand that because i have shared this story with persons but this is the first time i'm sharing it on youtube and what i want you to get from it i didn't even know that the lord was healing my heart i was overthinking the whole thing he was giving me a new heart you know let me tell you jesus loves you he doesn't love me anymore he doesn't love anyone any more than any other he loves you and he wants to heal you so if you are sick understand this jesus wants to heal you but if you feel like your healing is being blocked then you are going to need to look seek god for yourself seek him for yourself and let him show you what it is he may not show you in a vision he may not speak audibly to your ears he may send someone maybe even this video to make you look and see and know and understand what it is that might be blocking your healing for me it was unforgiveness it was anger it was bitterness it was rejection it was a feeling of abandonment it was a feeling of being an orphan it was so much stuff you know and i had to let it all go i had to let it all go i had to forgive so if there's anything in your soul in your mind in your heart that needs to be healed get rid of it because it's not business as usual you can't just move on and think that it's gone it's not filed in a library somewhere it is stored in your body okay so please do yourself a favor and just get rid of everything that could block your healing i hope this story blessed you for those of you who you know really needed to hear it i hope you received what you were supposed to receive from it and i guess i'll see you on the next video and if this video blessed you feel free to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with someone you think needs to hear it leave a comment below so i can find out you know if you want to hear more of these of my supernatural stories bye for now